Adaptive learning is getting a lot of attention and promotion these days, but the products that carry this label vary widely in terms of what they do. This has created some understandable confusion about what the term means and how adaptive learning products can be useful in the classroom. For a vendor's perspective, we went to McGraw-Hill Education to have an in-depth conversation with their researchers and product designers about their particular approach to adaptive learning. In this first segment, they share their philosophy about how these products can best support teachers and students. A very important part of learning is being able to practice practice over and over again in different stages. Well, one of the emotional aspects of adaptive learning is providing a safe area where students can practice and fail. The only way to learn is to fail and fail repeatedly. So I think this is a very, very important characteristic of adaptive systems that provides a safe area for learners to practice and fail. Is the heart of adaptive learning and its value, is it practice or is there something else to it? So I think we would generalize it to the heart of its value is engagement. And so, you know, if we back up, there's no doubt that learning is truly social to begin with. And learning is about dedicated faculty and teachers skilled in their area of discipline, skilled at engaging and connecting with students, and about drawing the best out of that student body that they can. And I don't care if it's a traditional classroom, a flipped classroom, a blended classroom, and online. We all remember those teachers who influenced us so what adaptive learning does though, because at times that learner, as Al said, needs to be charged to do their own work, needs a safe place to practice and fail, and needs to really struggle to learn to master. Adaptive learning is about making that moment infinitely more engage engaging by offering a sequence of activities that's really tailored to their needs and abilities. If I'm a teacher, and I'm thinking about bringing adaptive learning into my classroom, and I'm thinking about practice, and I'm thinking about engagement, how do I need to think about the way in which an adaptive learning product affects how I teach? There are many things one can think about. I, I would argue, and, and Matt now can jump in, the first thing is things don't change as much as you one might believe. So this isn't about blowing up education and, and, and some new miraculous way of teaching. It's about doing what we do in ways that are better and more effective and more engaging. So you need to plan your curriculum. You need to have your objectives to that class session or that week or that lesson plan. But what you need to do is have more fluidity in your prep. Because the beauty of this approach is 15 minutes before class, the night before class, during class, you're receiving feedback. You have a much better sense for where a cluster of students or an entire class section is. And therefore, you can tailor what you emphasize and what you go back and review more effectively. And maybe I'll turn it over to Matt, who was a, a K-12 teacher for many years, and let him talk about it. So as a sixth grade teacher in the Bronx, 30 students, two were illiterate, and one was reading at a high school level. The school day ended at 3.15, and I went home at 7. What I was doing in that four-hour window was dissecting the work we'd done that day, figuring out where specific students were, where they needed to be, figuring out where they were challenged. That was a three to four hour task. If I had a system that could help me parse through that so that I could prepare for the next day an individualized plan for each student, for cohorts of students, that's what I was looking for that I was missing from my textbook experience. The heart and soul of learning is the instructor and the teacher. So that's, that's not just a value that we have at McGraw-Hill, but the best research in learning science bears that out. This is probably the largest research ever done in education was uh, by John Hattie, a researcher in New Zealand. Uh, he did a meta-study of all the possible interventions that you can apply in learning. What has the largest effect size? And I was kind of summarizing, distilling it. It's making visible to the instructor the impact of the learning. So I think the exciting part about what we're doing now is the convergence of adaptive learning and learning analytics where we're able to now surface to the instructor and the teacher, the master teacher, what's working, what's not working, where do I need to apply the interventions? So adaptive learning is just a toolkit in the tool chest of master instructor. Yeah.